So if I want to write refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 means first I have to write speed of light in medium 2 divided by speed of light in medium 1. That is speed of light we will denote by V2 by V1. So N12 is equals to V2 by V1. That is when you are going to say the speed of light or refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2. You are going to first create the medium 2 speed light. Then we will take the medium 1. That is the reverse of it. If I want to take refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1. That is I will consider as V1 by V2. That is speed of light in a medium 1 with respect to speed of light in a medium 2 here. Okay. In general you are going to say this is the concept. V, V1 by V2 or V2 by V1. If it is, if the medium 1 is, for instance, if the medium 1, you are going to take it as vacuum. Here we have taken air or it is air. Here it is air itself. In that case, instead of writing all these things, there is a general formula that is absolute refractive index. Absolute refractive index is same as refractive index. Why we are stressing it as absolute refractive index means I will tell you. Uh, absolute uh, refractive index. Okay. Absolute refractive index. So it is denoted by NM. So in general we will say it as N M. That is absolute refractive index. Simply you can take it as N is equals to C by V. This is the general formula which we are going to use for the problems. When you are going to solve the problems, rather than all this, in general, we will write it as N is equals to C divided by V. C is nothing but speed of light in air or the vacuum. Okay, when you are going to say speed of light in air, that is, that is why I have said it is vacuum or air. That is divided by speed of light in a medium. V is nothing but speed of light in a medium. Medium means whether you will take glass medium or you will take uh, diamond, any other mediums. That is the harder medium we will take. That medium we will consider as medium here. So here if I take this to example, here air medium is there. This is the glass medium. So air medium comes under speed of light in air or the vacuum. Divided by speed of light in a medium here. Okay, that means N is equals to C by V. That is also called as absolute refractive index. Okay, this is how we are able to find out the formula for the refractive index. So, here there is one concept if you see the exactly. Uh, if you see the picture or if you see the formula, you will get to know that. There is something relates between refractive index and as well as speed of light. So there is a relation that if the speed of light is more. Where you will say the speed of light is more? You will say the speed of light is more in rarer medium. Am I correct? Speed of light is more in rarer medium and speed of light is less in denser medium. Isn't it? Less in the denser medium. Okay. I have said that yeah, this is to N21. In generally, C is nothing but speed of light in air. V is nothing but speed of light in glass medium. If medium 1 is air, medium 2 is glass. What is this N here? This is, I think you know that. This is N21. That is speed of light of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 we have taken. That is C by V. If I observe that, if the speed of light is more, that is in the rarer medium, then that medium refractive index will be less. This is very important. If the rarer medium is there, then speed of light, that is refractive index is less in the rarer medium. If the rarer medium, refractive index is less. If it is denser medium, refractive index will be more. By this you are able to identify which is the rarer medium and which is the denser medium also. In the first class I have mentioned that even the rarer and denser medium will depend upon a constant term called refractive index if you can remember that. So this is how it can relate. If 
it is more refractive index means then that medium is having the it is denser medium if it is less refractive index then that medium will be the rarer medium i have few mediums that is materials which is given for you in the textbook you can refer that as you can observe children there are different mediums are given air medium with the refractive index 1.03 and ice water alcohol many materials are given you can see the last one that is the diamond is given that refractive index of diamond is given 2.42 if you compare with the air the refractive index of diamond is nearly 2.42 it is more that means i can say diamond is the denser medium compared to that of the air here you can observe air is having nearly 1.003 refractive index so if i take same thing air refractive index was 1.003 diamond refractive index it was 2.42 if i compare this you can say which is having more refractive index diamond so this will be the denser medium and this will be the rarer medium okay i think now you have got the point that which is how you are going to say what is refractive index and what is the loss of refraction if any doubts is there we will discuss in a live session thank you